quickly, before we start this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the bird's eye location. So I neglected to talk about it in the video last week, but that location is actually on state public land. So what's the difference between state public land and BLM land, which is federal? Federal BLM land, you are welcome to go and collect personally rocks, you know, up to a certain amount each day, a certain amount each year, without any sort of fee or license or permit. Um, state land, however, depending on the state, they will have usually a, a permit or a license that you have to get that usually is pretty inexpensive. So here in Utah, for example, where I was collecting on state land, I needed a state permit to be able to collect there, which I do have. And in the state of Utah, it's fairly affordable. It's $25 per year for your family. That's at least what the current price is last time I paid, you know, a few months ago. So just uh, wanted to let you guys know about that. Let's go ahead and get on with the rock cutting video. Hello and welcome to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I'm here again with my good friend Tim and we are going to cut that bird's eye stuff we found last week. There we go. Those are, those are mine. This is the stuff we found in the main area. This is what we found in that second area. And here's what Tim found in the main area, and here's what he found in the second area. A lot more. He did a little bit more exploration. So we'll see if any of that stuff is really different, unique. Okay, let's get started cutting. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let Tim start, and he's gonna start with the bucket from the second area. So the stuff, we don't really know what's inside of it. And I think some of that even came from the conglomerate unit. Yeah. Let's get at it. Okay, first one, what do we got in it? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. It's got a few little cracks in the middle that might be calcite related, but other than that, that's bleh. All right, you guys ready? And the reveal. Nothing. All right, this one, based on the shape, looks like it should be a gastropod shell. Is it? <laughs> that's a nice one, too. Yeah. It's even worse on the inside. That was from the conglomerate unit. Hey, it's more interesting than some of the other ones. It's got little pods of like calcite in it. So it, it fractured and then filled in and with calcite in a few little places. Oh. So a little better than a lot of the stuff you've been cutting. And the reveal. I believe those are little fossils through it. Tim's last big one from the second area. What did we get? It looks like a uh, broken up limestone. And that's about it. Can't even hold them. What is it? Something running down the middle of that thing. It's not a shell. Oh, look closely at it. The center of it's like tons of teeny little bird's eyes or something. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's a shell, but it shattered. A, a little something in the middle. Something in the middle? Yeah. A little bit of calcite. Can't tell what it is though. All right, this is my last one from the second area. This was also from the conglomerate unit. I think. Whoa, that's weird. Whoa. All right, so we cut everything we found in that second area. Now we're gonna go ahead and start cutting stuff from the first area. We decided together that we're gonna cut all the weird shaped ones that may or may not be shells and maybe something completely different that we haven't seen yet. So we're gonna cut through those. I'm gonna start and then Tim's gonna go and we're just gonna kind of get through all those. And then we're gonna do all the ones at the end that we really think are shells because they look like it because we think those will be the best. All right, let's get back at it. What is it? Looks like there's some clay or something right there. Huh. That's strange. It's got a little stuff in it, like that last one. What's in it? Shell. Oh, did I get a shell? Ah, it is. It's a broken shell, but you can see it's got pieces of the shell in it. What the heck? Yeah, something in the middle. 
Whoa. What is that? What's in it? Shell. There's a shell in that one? Hey! Like a, yeah, not a very good broken. one. Alright, this is that cylindrical looking one. Oh, you got, so you got a branch in the middle. Oh, look at that! And it really looks different huh, from those other branches. It's got a red color to it. Very round shape. Here we go. Got a shell in the middle. Really? Yeah, just the broken top part of the shell. Yeah, this is a longer shape. I guess this one could be a shell. Yep, that's a shell. Oh, I can see it on that. Wow. Oh, that's a good shell. Yeah, there we go. Hey, this is a longer one too. You got something in the middle of there. Oh, it's big, whatever it is. Nope. Typical bird's eye with nothing in the middle. Yeah. And... <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's not even bird's eye. There's nothing in there. Kind of a spherical one. Got one. That's a tiny little thing in there. Hey, middle. a tiny broken shell right in the middle of that one. This is bird's eye, but it looks really weird. Hmm, it's got a few different things in there. Okay, the mud is very red on this one. I don't know if that's good or bad. Hopefully good, possibly bad. What the heck? What did I find? Oh, what? So you got bird's eye, but then right here, it's like I got a bunch of red, like, iron or dirt or something. All right, this one broke. So I don't know how it'll turn out. Just original bird's eye. Okay, yeah. Good old classic bird's eye. All right, next one. Uh, that's a shell. And it's got a calcite vein cutting through it. It's a shell. I can't tell what that is. And the reveal. That is interesting. Bring that a little closer. Wow, that is cool. It's got something weird in the middle, but very contrast, and then there's this band of iron. That's when you could tell what's gonna be bird's eye from the outside. Not too bad. All right, one side broke. Uh, it's a piece of a shell. It's something in the middle. I think it's part of a shell. Yep, that's a stem. It's a pretty one. Can't tell if it's a shell, but it's pretty. A little tiny something in the middle might be a piece of a shell. It's a shell. And you see the chambers, even though the contrast isn't the greatest, that is well chambered. And now we're getting some bigger ones. What is that in the middle? is that? That is cool. Something in the middle. It's, it's a, it has to be like a clamshell or an oyster shell because of the shape. All right, here's a big one. The shell is gone. It's a hole where the shell used to be. It completely replaced by calcite and then it must have had water come in and dissolve it out of there. That is cool. All right, Tim's final strange one. Whoa, look at that perfect ring of calcite. It could be a clamshell or it could just be a flat out ring of calcite, which is actually pretty cool. Oh, it was a shell. It was a shell. Look, it broke right here and you can see a little bit of that shell. It was, it was an oyster shell. It was an oyster shell. This is definitely an oyster shell. Not a clam because it doesn't have the frill yep. or whatever you call it. Oyster shell, definitely. That looks really cool with the ring though. Okay, so that's the end of those strange shaped ones. Now we've got our gastropod ones that we're pretty sure have the shells. Now, if you remember from the video as we went out and found these, we have a competition going to see who can find the biggest one and the best looking one. So let the competition begin. Here we go. You say one side of it broke? Oh, it's a shell. A big shell, too. I wish there was more contrast. Still pretty. 
That's a shell. Too bad it broke a little there. Not the best looking shell, but it's still a shell. A stick. It's a twig. This is a good size one. Yes, that's a good gastropod there. Nice gastropod shell. Good contrast. All right, next one. Ooh, look at the chambers on that shell. Oh, that's a cute little one, isn't it? <laughs> hey, you got both sides this time? Hey, it's a shell. Interesting, the top part filled with mud, the bottom part turned into calcite. Another shell, not good on that side, but really good on this side. Yeah. Got a shell, and the middle of it's hollow on this side. Cool. Wow. That one. Wow, look at that thing. Oh, cool. We got a shell going through it and then a nice little calcite fracture. That's a tiny little thing. Tiny shell and a big one. <laughs> All right, how does this one look? That's pretty decent. What is that? Something curved. I guess it would be a branch because branches will bend. That's a decent shell. Not too bad. Oh, hey, it's a shell. Eh, it's got the double chamber on this side. Not the contrast, but still nice. Very good. Okay, Tim's final one. The big one that we're really hoping for what? is... It is a shell. Unfortunately, not that great. It's too bad. Like usual on these small ones, one side shatters, but the other side, pretty nice. One side shattered, but I got the other side. Nice. Nice. Wow, it's actually a good sized one. Too bad it didn't have nice contrast. It's a shell. Too bad the other side broke. Huh. Something strange over here. That's got nothing on it. But... It looks like a stick. Yeah. It's a shell, but it's a very long one. Oh, but not yeah. very pretty. Oh yeah, it's a little better. Look at that side. Got the chambers in there. Beautiful. Okay, I haven't looked at it, so I don't know. Oh, if it was better. Oh, it's one of those that's hollowed out a little bit. Only if that one didn't break. Yeah, I wish. Uh, better shell was on this side. It's yeah. too bad. That's a nice one. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that side. It's sad that it broke right Yeah, here. it's too bad. That's a nice one. Oh, yes. There we go. That's, that's one of my contenders for either prettiest or biggest. <laughs> Another one of those hollowed out ones. Yeah, it's decent. It's decent. Yeah, it's a decent one. What the? What is that? I don't think that's a shell. What is that? It's not a shell. What is that? Either it's like a oyster shell from the side, or it's something else. I don't know. Got a shell. Tiny little guy. Yep, not very big. Ah, oh, it's a shell. See it more on this side than that side. All right, everybody, this is the last one. My last one, last chance to get something big and pretty. That one's pretty like nice. That. Yeah. That's not a bad one to add on. So, we finished cutting them all, so now, I'm gonna go ahead and measure them all to see how long they are. And I'm gonna get my wife, Jana, to judge them blindly to which one she thinks looks the best. And then we'll find out who won the biggest and who won the prettiest. Okay, we just finished cutting all of that stuff. Oh, it was a long, <laughs> it was a long process. That was a lot of stuff to cut. So I have it all right here. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it off with the spray bottle. It's hard to see everything. So I'm gonna spray it off and I'm gonna put the macro lens on so that you can see everything up 
nice and close so we can get a good look at it. The stuff up here is the uh, kind of strange stuff that we found. And then down here are all the shells. Okay, I got the macro lens on. Let me make sure it's in focus. Right about there. Okay, here we go. So here's the first one I found that is actually a tree branch. We got this one right here. This has an interesting chamber where it filled in with a lot of iron. Very cool. This one was just very dark, almost a black. Have a cool little shell right there. This was very interesting. It might have been a shell or a tree branch or something with a lot of little things on it. That, I think, is a clamshell. Over here, just a nice bird's eye. That looks like it was part of a shell. That also might have been part of an oyster shell. Oyster shell, not clamshell, since they don't have the grooves. This one might have been like a little pebble or something. That one was just cool. Bunch of stuff here. That was a little piece of a shell. And then Tim found this one. This looks, has the shape of a bone. I do not know if it's a little bone or just something that has that shape, but it's very, very interesting. All right, let's take a look at all the shells. So as we look at them, go ahead and think about which one you think looks the best. Which one has the best color, the best structure? I go over all of these. All right, I'm gonna have to spray because they're getting a little dry. All right, let's continue. So the ones that are vertical like this are the ones that we were able to keep both sides mostly intact. The ones that are Horizontal like this means the other side fractured and fell apart. This one's my personal favorite, but we'll uh, see what other people say. All right, it's drying off again. Let's. Of course, a helicopter would fly right over as I'm doing this. All right, let's get back to it. Okay, so uh, yeah, this one's my personal favorite. And these. All right, let's just keep looking at these. Some really pretty ones. That one's actually missing the shell. <laughs> I like this one a lot too. Oh, look, look at the calcite fractures in it. And you can see these double chambers going on. It's just so cool. Just happens to be where it cut. <laughs> any pair of shells or any individual one, depending on whether or not the other side oh. broke or not. Whichever one you think has the most eye appeal. I appeal. Whichever one you like the look of the best. And size, it doesn't have to be. Well, we're both based female, so that's, there's that. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna I go ahead and let one. you two debate on yeah, which one I you think. think. That one too. Oh, was this very quick, huh? Mm -hmm. We are constantly looking for things that are pretty. <laughs> All right, so what was your verdict? We that chose one. these. You I both chose that. that one. Yeah. All right, I did not influence you guys in any way, did I? No. And you have no idea who cut what? No. No. All right. So the verdict is, <laughs> Tim, I'm sorry. I won both <laughs> size and eye appeal. This one right here was not only the choice because of how pretty it was, it was also the largest shell. So now, my second this choice... one took everything. My second choice is this one because it's got that cool band. Okay, Janice, second choice is that one, which is one that Tim cut open. So, there you go, Very Tim. Very nice. I, w I honestly did not know any of this. I just walked in from 
a phone call. So I think this is my second choice. Is this little one with blue? Ooh. And mm, yes. I like that one. So my personal favorite was also this one by wow. far. I think it's because of the the that clarification. You, it is uh -huh. so beautiful. Like it's so clear. That the different so chambers nice. of the shell. I also so like the lavender. You can see it goes all the way to the termination. Yes. But my second favorite was this Ooh. one, which was like one, one of Tim's as well. So my second pick was yeah. one of Tim's. So it's up to you guys too, viewers. Uh, which one do you think was the best? Do you agree with? our choice because all three of us <laughs> chose the same one or do you have a different one you preferred <laughs> let me know and remember there is treasure everywhere